Oh no, I can't. Stay awake. No! Damn it. Fucking Julie. Kicking me out. Sneak in. Alright, you know what? Let's sneak into places. Fuck it. Let's do this shit. Whose house should we sneak into first? Um, or should I not? Now I feel bad. Um, yeah, I'll just go home, I guess. I'll make more dinner. I'll try to do that stupid thing again. Until I have to go to sleep. Actually, it's coming up soon. It's almost 11, so I'm probably going to have to go to sleep in a bit. At least I'm going to choose to go to sleep, because this fucking shit is like, Oh, no, you can't do any... I thought the game froze again. I was like, are you fucking kidding? This sucks. Cook recipe, cook. Let's try the ham quiche again. Even though it went miserably last time. This bitch, she doesn't know where to go. Alright. Mm. Beat the eggs, beat the egg. Come on, come on, come on. Awesome. Okay, that's not really doing much. Fine, I'll preheat this shit to 350. Maybe I should have preheated the oven first, because this is like not going right now the way it's supposed to. Fucking go! Yeah, it's just lagging way too much right now. exactly go well, but it's okay because nothing's going well. I'm failing at everything and it's making me really sad. Like, all this fucking stirring and like, it's not letting me... Was it just a direction? Was I just steering in a stupid direction and that's why? I'll freak out if that's the reason why. Oh my god, it's because of the way I was stirring. Come on, I'm doing it! I'm fucking doing it, I swear! I don't understand what the fuck this game's problem is. Yeah, the timing's even worse than last time. Oh, shit. It just like stops working at a random time. I don't know why. sort of helps that I'm stirring in the right direction. Oh. Hold on. I might understand a little bit better. Oh. Probably should add the shit that I'm... Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Seriously, that's what it was? I wasn't stirring within the bowl and that's why? Oh my god. I cannot believe this shit. I cannot believe this shit. That's what was wrong, was that I wasn't stirring inside the bowl. 
I was panicking. A. No, I'm getting an A plus on this. I swear to you. I cannot believe that's what the issue was. One up. Fucking A. There we go. I cannot believe that shit. I wish I could cut this nicely. I'm bad at cutting. Like, I would love to, like, cut that fast. Like, kind of how, um, cartoon characters do it. Where they, like... What do they call it? It's... Is it saute? I don't think it's saute. I forget what it's called. Mince. Mincing. I don't know how to mince, and that makes me sad. I would love to learn how to mince. Like, cut really, really fast, you know? I can't believe it was just, like, stirring within the bowl that was the problem. Like, that blows my mind a little bit. I'm gonna make the perfect fucking quiche. All before bedtime. Cook! Dear God, cook! I need that A+. Plus. I need it. I need it. It literally was just the time that, like, fucked me over last time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, buddy! Woo! Perfect! That's right. I can't believe it. I really thought it was the game that was fucked up, and it was me the whole time. A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus. I'm just the boss. Strawberry dessert. I don't know why I'm so, like, obsessed with one, finding out everyone's secret, and two, with cooking. <laughs> Oh god, it's ridiculous. This game is ridiculous, but I love it. At least it's not like Gobble to Fire ridiculous where I like hate every second of it and it like makes me want to like shoot myself in the face. I don't care. I, I did well enough. Come on. There we go. Just gonna say, don't do this to me. Um, get in there. And I have to do it in the motion that they want me to do it in, so like back and forth and not. Ugh, wait! Oh, cause chopping. Well, let's get the chopping straight, why not? Oh fuck. Retry. I don't know why I do this, I really do apologize. Um... Dun, 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 dun. Beautiful. Oh shit, I'm supposed to preheat the oven. Forgot about that little tidbit. Sweet. Okay, run, 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 run. Oh, I love it. I love how it's going so much better now. I can't believe that's what I was doing wrong. Wow. All right, anyways, after I'm done with this uh, strawberry dessert, I'm gonna go ahead, go upstairs, sleep, and then it'll be awesome because A plus, yeah. All right, it's almost 11. Can I sleep now? What the fuck? I wanna go to sleep. I wanna go to fucking sleep. You stairs. You fucking kidding me, I can't go to sleep. Like, everyone else is sleeping. I can't sleep. I need to clean the object before I sleep. Where's my husband? Why isn't he sleeping? My son's sleeping. Where the fuck is my husband? He's cheating on me. I know it. Maybe I should just cheat on his stupid ass. That was the slowest fade out in the history of the world. Do I have enough money to buy that stupid couch now? No, I don't. That's stupid. I wanna clean. Where's my husband in the- He's probably sleeping. Fuck you. I'm sick of your shit. There wasn't even anyone in the bed. My boy sleeps with clothes on. Fan-fucking-tastic. I don't wanna cook for you guys because you drain my energy. Like you drain my heart. All right, let's leave. Um, oh, do I have mail? I do have mail. Who's this bitch? 
Serena. The hell are you doing here, Serena? Get out of Wisteria Lane. You don't belong here. What did I get? Oh! A sweepstakes winner. Oh, money! Fantastic! Sweet deal. Knock. Let's go talk to Gabby. Even though she doesn't really, you know, have any probably good advice for a teenage boy, having her just, you know, sleeping with them, not actually, um conversing with them. Oh yeah, I didn't get a chance to finish talking to Julie. Because it was bedtime. Why am I up so early? Gabby, answer the fucking door! Thank you. Hey, what's up? Mind if I ask you a question about teenagers? Sure. But I'm not the best person to talk to about things like that. Teenage boys aren't really my department. At least in terms of how to raise them. Oh, well, I was just worried about my son. I don't really want to go into it, but just in case he saw or anything or heard of something. He seems like a good kid, but I don't think I've had one real conversation with him. Carlos gets jealous when I talk to anyone with XY chromosomes. Teenagers are teenagers. They go a little crazy. But it's probably not as bad as you think. Thanks, Gabby. That makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, one thing I can tell you. Boys his age usually don't talk to their parents about private things. They usually confide in a friend or a girlfriend. He's a cute kid. He might have a girlfriend already. You should ask around. He hasn't brought her around, but I think he does have a girlfriend. Thanks, Gabby. You've been a real help. Damn it. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Socialize. I'm going to find out your secret. What's new with you? And then I'll go talk to Julie, because hers and Carl's is really the only secret that, like, I haven't found. Oh, and the twin brother, I think. Hold on, let's see. Uh, Carl and Julie and twin brother. Yeah, they're the only ones whose secrets I haven't collected. Gabrielle, what secrets are you hiding? Hello. That's an odd smile you're wearing, Gabrielle. What's going on? I don't kiss and tell. You tease. Now you have to tell. Since when? Maybe I should rephrase that. I don't have sex in my hot tub and tell. You're not kidding, are you? No wonder you're smiling. Remind me never to get into your hot tub. That's tame. Carlos and I have done it in some crazy places. I could just imagine. Tell me some of them. Oh, really? There was that building stairwell with a flashlight during a power outage. Under the table at the Park Avenue restaurant. Oh, and the restroom at the football stadium. I had to throw out that dress. Ugh. Will you please wrap this up? Tell me more. Are you serious? Tell me more. But the best place was on an airplane. You're making me air sick, Gabby. That sounds fun. No way. Carlos likes to say he took my mile-high virginity. That sounds like something he'd be proud of. That's so cute. I'm sure he does. It's not cute. That's enough kissing and telling for one day. I'll see you later. Goodbye, Gabby. I still don't see how any of these are, like, gonna be secrets. Hello. What's on your mind, Gabrielle? You can't tell your friends everything, right? I mean, you have to hold some things back. I didn't ask you to tell me everything. You don't have to tell me what's on your mind if you don't want to, Gabby. I was just trying to be polite. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. I'm not so sure about that. What did you mean then? Yeah, right. What I really want to know is, do you tell your husband everything? He knows some things. I tell him most things, but not everything. He's lucky if I tell him anything. I mean, it's okay for women to have our little secrets, right? I don't know if that's right or not. Of course it's alright. It's almost mandatory that they don't know everything. Especially if I'm trying to save Carlos from being disappointed. What do you mean? What would he be disappointed about? You're so devious, Gabby. Oh, just forget it. It's no big deal. If you want to tell me what's going on, Gabby, I'll listen. Thanks. Maybe another time. 
Hello. You all right? I need to tell you something. If you really have to. Tell me everything, or anything. Okay, go ahead. It's about Carlos. Actually, the problem is that it's not about Carlos. Gabby, you're making about as much sense as you usually do, only this time I actually want to know what the hell you're talking about. What do you mean? Then who's it about? It's kind of silly, but ever since we talked about this one teensy-weensy thing, it's been bugging me. Well, get on with it. You came to the right person. I'm sure it's not silly. You can't tell Carlos. This has to stay between us forever. Whatever, Gabrielle. Of course this will be between you and me. That's fine with me. Remember when I told you that Carlos and I did it on an airplane once? Unfortunately. How could I forget? I think so. And remember that I told you how proud he is of taking my mile-high virginity? Yes, I remember. Oh, yeah. Well, I told Carlos a little white lie. He wasn't the first man I had sex with in an airplane. Ugh, Francois the love machine was. Back in my modeling days. Francois the love machine? Oh, I see. You've been busy. I just didn't have the heart to tell him the truth. It's not like I lied to him or anything. I just didn't speak up when he took the credit. He was so cute about it. Talking about getting us platinum mile high cards. Here's what I think. Do you want my advice? I'd like to give you my opinion. Okay, tell me. Your sex life before you met Carlos is none of his business. You don't have to tell him a thing about Francois the love machine. If it makes Carlos happy to think that he took your mile high virginity, then don't destroy his happiness by telling him the truth. You were intentionally deceiving Carlos, which is as bad as lying to him. You need to tell him the truth immediately. You're totally right. Why was I being so hard on myself? I don't know what I was thinking. Now we can forget about this whole mile high incident. Of course I'm right. I don't know what you were thinking either. I can't tell you how much better I feel knowing exactly what I have to do. That's what friends are for. Thanks. All of these issues aren't really issues. Like, they're barely secrets. It's kind of disappointing, honestly. I'm just reading stuff, sorry. Oh god, what is this? Mayor break-in? Oh yeah. Um... Failed volunteer. Um, tell all. This is also stupid. Okay, let's go finish talking to Julie because I really, really want to gather her secret. <laughs>